Okay, so we got everything set up to get all the new gear installed. The only thing I don't have in there yet is the uh, hard drive caddy. The main reason for that is I need to get the radiator and stuff installed first. I wound. This is not supposed to be this way. However, I want to keep my SSDs in here, and with the 360 route right in there, I'm I'm just going to leave it like this. This way, I have no issues with. Uh, well, no issues. Uh, and I can also wrap the cables in the back and create an even cleaner look than what I had before. So, uh, on to the next step, getting the radiator installed. So, after about five hours, and I apologize for not having the complete footage, the battery's out, and I didn't realize it because I was that focused on the build. Um, it's finally done. I have powered it on, got everything set up. Uh, I will be showing you a video recording of that soon, but I just wanted to get this video done and over with. I apologize for the shitty quality because I just, I'm tired now. I have spent five hours doing this. As you'll have seen in the beginning of the video, I took out all the old guts, all the old components, and reused my current case. I also have my two hard drives and two SSDs in there still. So, anyways, let's go ahead and start explaining what all I've done. <coughs> Excuse me. This is my video card. It is an EVGA 1050 Ti SC overclocked 2 gigahertz. <coughs> um, the reason I got this giant fan is I wasn't happy with the cooler that was stock on here. I was having trouble pushing it to 2 gigahertz, but with this, it barely goes above 30 Celsius at full load. So, you yeah, have 250 watts cooling capacity on this. That is insane. Anyways, this is a, uh, what brand is this? Sorry, people. I'm, this is the first time I've heard of this brand, so I'm still getting used to it. Uh, this is GamerStorm. It is a 360 radiator with a plastic tube here so you can see the flow rate, as well as an LED in here. They sell an RGB variant. 
But uh, like I said, this is an AMD build. This is my new gaming and editing rig. Yes, I preach use old hardware as long as you can. But I just want to see what I'm capable of doing with such a computer. Anyways, there are two 8 gigabyte sticks of Viper from Patriot. This is a gigabyte Oris. If someone can point me to a video on how to say that properly, please put it in the comment section below. Aurora's board. Um, it is the... Where is the box? It is the X470 Ultra Gaming Motherboard. It can has three X, uh, PCIe X16 slots. However, two are only able capable of running in X8 mode. It has two uh, M.2 slots that can also hold NVMe SSDs. One of them comes with a nice cover. However, uh, my uh, <laughs> giant heatsink on my video card is covering that. Anyways, continue on. Two 3 terabyte Hitachi hard disk drives, which I use for mass game storage, as well as my uh, editing files. Like, if I'm going to, in the middle of stuck of being editing something, I'll store it on here for long-term storage. Whereas, all finished and archived projects wind up on the NAS. I've got another hard drive coming in. Uh... This up here is my... Oh, I'll try and get better lighting. That is my Silicon Power 480 gigabyte SSD. I plan on getting one more of those. But uh, that's where I house my games that I play a lot, as well as what I use as a scratch disc. I hope I got that term right. I'm still new to all this editing stuff, so... Please forgive me. Anyways, it's whenever I need fast editing stuff, this is what I use. Um, I plan on getting two more gigs of this, I mean, not two more, two more sticks of RAM that complete the kit. Um, that is what my OS is currently housed on. I cannot find a single one of my USB drives to make a Windows installation media drive. So, right now the NVMe SSD is acting as a, uh, crap, I forgot what it's called. You know, basically it acts as a virtual memory on a normal drive similar to RAM, but whatever. Eventually that will house my OS. But uh, a 750 watt EVJ power supply. Altogether, this whole upgrade without the video card ran me $800. Now you see why I say if you need to save the money, if you don't have the money, try to go with something old like Core 2 Quad and then toss in one of these EVJ. 1050 Ti SCs if you can find them because I've actually put this in my mom's computer once and I was able to run all the latest games at about medium settings on a core 2 quad that's 775 contact pins on a CPU and it runs almost all games just fine so please understand you don't need a stupidly massive powerful CPU like this one to play games if you're just gaming for fun or like. Um, anything else? Oh yeah, this is a Cooler Master case, fully, well, fully modular. The reason I did not go with a uh, modular power supply, well, I already spent enough money as it is on this thing. However, I did not cheap out on my power supply. That is the one component you never, ever, ever should buy, use, or cheap out on. Um, let's see, anything else? Nope. Uh, this does glow nicely. I'm gonna see if it has an RGB, uh, thing in there. Basically see if it's got software I can use to alter the light on it. And then I plan on getting a new RGB LED strip putting around here because this board has native... Wait, no light, no light! Crap. It has native, uh, inputs for those, so... Uh, headers, not inputs. And that all there is to it. This is my new gaming slash video editing rig. If you want to know how I afforded this, I bust my ass at work to bring you videos and to do stuff like this. This was about two years worth of savings for me. You would think $800 would be easy to save, but when all kinds of stuff happens, you sometimes just can't. Now, after the 
this baby. This video will have come out after I did the video on the uh, oh, what is it called? A JB weld repair for the charger port on a friend's laptop. You'll have seen that laptop in a previous video, most likely. And then after this video will be the upgrade for my mom's computer. And then after that will be the new server, which will be once again in a uh, well. Let's just say I like Roswell server equipment a lot. Well, I'll see y'all later, and I hope you have a good day, night, whatever. Please like this video, because this is the first time I've used brand new hardware at all. And ever since I've been working on computers. See y'all later. One of the things, don't just build one house. Try your best to build an entire town.